Hey guys, it's Billy Eichner right here in the Upper West Side of Manhattan, ready to play one of my new favorite games, Who Dat? What is your name, miss? Tiffany. Tiffany, and where are you from? Tennessee. Oh, what part of Tennessee? Jackson. Oh, wow, and what do you do there? Housewife. Oh, that's fun, like one of the real housewives. Show sure enough. <laughs> okay, all right, that's great, show sure enough. Oh, no, you didn't, right? <laughs> Remember that from last season? Yes. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. So here's how we play Who Dat. I am going to give you a list of celebrities, and one by one, you have to tell me who those celebrities are by giving me facts about the celebrity. Oh, my God. That's right, Tiffany. If you give me the correct facts that I'm looking for, you describe them to my liking, you win, you get a point. If you don't, you lose the point, we move on to the next celebrity. If you get five right in 30 seconds, you win a big prize. You ready, Tiffany? I hope so. Okay, play with passion, girl. Okay. Okay, here we go. And away we go. Tina Fey. I don't know. You don't know Tina Fey? Oh! You don't watch 30 Rock? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Moving on. Uh, Catherine Heigl. Honey? Oh, God. No, no, no. Here, here, here. Ellen DeGeneres. Oh, that's my girl. Yes. Talk so hard. That's correct. Correct, Tiffany. There's a point right there. Uh, uh, Willow Smith. Oh, honey. Oh, oh God. Where? Who's honey? I'll give you another one. CeeLo. That's music. Yes, music. Correct. Uh, Bill Hader. Time? Did she get it? No. I'm sorry, Tiffany. You lost. Okay. That's okay. You know what happens when you lose, Tiffany? I gotta go. You, know, you have to f this guy. Oh. Oh, God, Tiffany, I'm sorry. Oh, Tiffany's gone. Well, that's who, Dad. Sorry, sir. We'll be right back. Bye, Tiffany. Sorry. Billy on the street. Billy on the street. He's making dreams come true. Billy on the street. Hey, guys, it's Billy Eichner, and this is Funnier Dies, Billy on the Street, a music and pop culture game show. Now, before we get to our three-round game, let's take a look and see what happened when I hit the streets to play a game I like to call for a dollar. Here we go. Miss, do you love Jennifer Lawrence? Jennifer Lawrence? What? Yes, she was in Hunger Games. Oh, the uh, leading lady there? Yes. Yes? Yes. You like her? Yeah. She might win the Oscar. Are you sure? Well, that's what some people say for Silver Linings Playbook. Oh, I see. That yes. Is cameras. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I love it. It's a book, Hunger 2 and 3, isn't it? Yes, yes, there are more movies coming out. Oh, I see. Yeah, she's going to be in them, too. Oh, why are you interviewing us? I'm just excited about Jennifer Lawrence's Oscar prospects. Oh, I see. Okay. Good luck to her. Good yes, luck good luck. Her. Good yes. luck, yeah. Yes. What about Robert De Niro? Do you like him? Yeah, but, uh, you know... Yeah, you yeah. uh, He's a very good actor, but he's old now. Yes, very old. Okay, thank you very much. Very old. Very, very old. Miss, for a dollar, who do you like better, Sandra Bullock or Anne Hathaway? Anne Hathaway. Why do you say that? Um, I loved her in Batman. Oh, yeah, she played Catwoman. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to see her in Les Miserables, the movie. She sings. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, with Hugh Jackman and Russell Crowe. I'm Australian, so... Good for you. What the hell do I care? Sir, do you hate Hilary Swank? Yes. Thank you very much. Miss, for a dollar, who do you think is more sophisticated, Daniel Tosh or the stork from the Vlasic Pickles commercials? I have no idea. Well, t so sorry, I'm from Bainbridge Island, Washington, a teeny little island. What do you mean? So you have television? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you don't know Daniel Tosh? No, I don't. I'm very sorry. What do you do on that little island? What do I do on the island? Yes. I'm an activist. For what? Air quality issues. Oh, wow. Schools. Much. The air on that island. Fabulous. Yes. It's really very good. But well, you don't get know, Daniel yeah. Tosh, so. No, but you know what we get? Orca whales. Whales, wow. Yes, fabulous whales. Yes, I, oh, I love a fabulous whale. Some whales are gay, did you know that? Who? Huh? Huh? What about gay? Some whales are gay! Miss, you want to get quizzed in the face? You can win money right now. It's really fun. What's your name? Camille. What is it? Camille. Camille, where are you from? Uh, Denver. Denver, wow. I love Denver. Oh, good. Remember that movie, Things to Do in Denver When You're Dead? Yes. Yeah, yeah. treat. What? Andy Garcia. Andy Garcia, yes. Hi, Andy Garcia! Okay, here we go. If you get two questions wrong, you're out. If you need help answering a question, we can beg a stranger. We can ask a pregnant woman, or I can scream the correct answer from down the block. You ready, Camille? Okay. What are you doing in New York? Do you live here now? Uh, no, I do not. Oh, you're just visiting? Yeah, my best friend's here. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, so what have you guys been doing? Not a whole lot. I just got in. Oh, you just got in? Wow. Yeah. What airport? Uh, LaGuardia. LaGuardia, wow. Wow. Yep. 
That's one of them. Round one, question one. Which one of the following is the name of a character in the movie The Smurfs? A, vegan Smurf. B, blindy Smurf. He's blind. C, brainy Smurf. D, uncut Smurf. I'm gonna say Brainy Smurf. I don't. I've never watched the Smurfs. You've never watched the Smurfs? Oh, isn't that lame? I... Homophobe. Correct. Yes. See, Brainy Smurf. You're right. Moving on to question two. Here we go. In the spring of 2012, who was allegedly dating Kanye West? A. Molly Shannon. B. Kim Kardashian. C. Courtney Love. D. An anime character. Definitely Kim Kardashian. You're sure. Final answer. Okay. Do you like Kim Kardashian? She's fine. I can't stand her. <laughs> Whatever. She's talentless. She's a squirrel trying to get a nut. You're damn right she is. Correct, yes, Kim Kardashian. Here we go. I love a squirrel who tries to get a nut. What I don't understand is a squirrel who doesn't try to get a nut. What are they doing with their time? Here we go. Question three. You're doing great so far. You can still beg a stranger, ask a pregnant woman, or I can scream the correct answer from down the block. Question three. Do you have a boyfriend, girlfriend? Or? No, boyfriend. De boyfriend. Definitely. Boyfriend. What is that supposed to be? It's okay to be a lesbian. Hey, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. No, you're, that's you're not into not it. Not for me. Not never me. even experimented. No. Wow. I have, no. No desire to experience the vagina on that level. Oh, I have one already. Okay. Yeah. Lesbians like two. Yeah. They bump them together like they're little cars. Here we go. Question three. Who plays Anna Karenina in the new movie Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2, Revenge of the Leftovers? Just kidding. In the new movie Anna Karenina. A, Kira Knightley. B, Kate Winslet. C, Lena Dunham. D, I'll have another. The horse that won the Kentucky Derby this year. A. A, Kira Knightley, are you sure? I think so. What do you want to do? Do you want to beg a stranger for help? I can help you find one. Sure, let's okay, do it. Okay, let's do it. Let's go. Camille and I gonna beg a stranger. I need a stranger. I need a stranger. Oh, this slow poke. Let's get around him. I need a stranger. Miss! Miss! Miss, she needs help answering her question for money. What's your name? I'm Jazz. Oh, Jazz? Your, your name is Jazz? My name is Jazz. That's like a dog's name. Okay, here's the question. You're sitting here on a fire hydrant like a dog, too. Are you a dog? I'm not a dog. Okay, good. All right. Oh, why don't you calm down? It's not my fault her name is Jazz. What was that? I like it. You like the name Jazz? Is that your real name? That's not my real name. What is your real name? My real name is Jacqueline. Jacqueline, thank God. OK, here we go. Here's the question. Question three. Who plays Anna Karenina in the new film Anna Karenina? A, Kira Knightley. B, Kate Winslet. C, Lena Dunham. D, I'll have another, the horse that won the Kentucky Derby this year. I want to say Kira Knightley. She's saying, Kira Knightley, what do you think? You're going to trust a person who decided to go by the nickname Jazz by choice? That's even worse now that I think about it. What's your answer? Kira Knightley. You're going with Kira Knightley, agreeing with Jazz. The answer is, hey, Kira Knightley. Yes, you're correct. OK, bye, Jazz. Bye. 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 We need this fire hydrant in case I don't know if there's a fire. OK, here we go. You're still in the game, Camille. Here we go, next question, round two, question one. The movie Field of Dreams gave us what popular catchphrase? A, if you build it, he will come. B, if you come, he will build it. C, he's building it, so, or D, build it or don't build it. No skin off my back. Build it and they will come. A, he, if you build it, he will come? A. Correct, yes, Camille, yes, on to question two. Here we go. If you get this correct, moving into the final subjective round for $100. Here we go, Camille. All right, cool. Yeah, that's right. Welcome to the big city. Yeah. Question two. Playboy playmate Kendra Wilkinson talks about battling postpartum depression in her book titled A, a heartbreaking work of staggering genius. B, being Kendra, cribs, cocktails, and getting my sexy back. C, being Kendra, postpartum at the party. Or D, goodnight poon. I love D, but I'm going to go with B. You're going with B, B and Kendra, cribs, cocktails, and getting my sexy back. Are you sure? Yeah. I, I don't know any of I don't know. So, yeah, B. You're positive? Yes. You want me to scream the answer from down the block? It's up to you, or you can stick with your guns. Stick with it. You are... Correct! Yes, we're moving into the final round! Yes, B, B and Kendra, cribs, cocktails, and getting my sexy back. Okay, here we go, Camille. You are now in the final round where you can win $100. But here's how the final round is different. In the final round, calm down, okay? Don't, you know, ham it up like Leah Michelle. In the final round, 
all the questions are subjective, meaning your answer has to match my answer, my opinion. Do you understand? Yeah. You have no more helps left. You are on your own. Are you ready, Camille? Sure, yes. Here's the question. It's Sunday night and you have a date over. What do you watch? A, Mad Men and Hell on Wheels. B, Veep and Girls on HBO. C, 60 Minutes and The Amazing Race. D, Game of Thrones and Internet Porn. It's Sunday night and you have a date over. What are my options again? Can you repeat? What do you watch? A, Mad Men and Hell on Wheels. B, Veep and Girls. C, 60 Minutes and The Amazing Race. D, Game of Thrones and Internet Porn. Think about it, you have a date over on a Sunday night. What would I watch? A. A, Mad Men and Hell on Wheels. Why do you say that? Because my second choice is B, because I really love the show Girls, but I don't know if you would love the show Girls. Okay, why do you think I might not, might not like it? I don't know you. Okay. Well, you gotta decide. Mad Men, why did you say Mad Men and Hell on Wheels? Well, I like Mad Men. Sticking with your original answer? Yeah, sure, yep. Mad Men and Hell on Wheels for the game, my answer is... Mad Men and Hell on Wheels! You win Chris in the face, Camille! You win $100, yes! Of course it's Mad Men and Hell on Wheels. Yes, Mad Men is a classy choice, and Hell on Wheels is a huge bore, so that's a perfect time to segue into sexy makeout time. Exactly. I like girls too, but unless you're trying to connect to some middle-aged lesbian about how great it is that the landscape have changed for young women in the media, girls is boner poison! Congratulations, Camille. Here's your $100. Here we go, $100! Quizzed in the face. Have fun in New York with your friend. I will, thank you. Okay, what are you guys going to do? Uh, oh, tomorrow we're going to go to Coney Island? Coney Island, yes, there's a Ferris wheel there. Let's go. Hey, guys, it's Billy, and somebody tell all those balloons at the Thanksgiving Day Parade to suck my d Look who's in the air now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is why Oprah invented the television. Because today I am here and I'm no longer Billy on the street. I am Billy in the air. Whoa! Something snapped. I'm terrified. But I am not that terrified because I am here today with someone who you know I love. One of my favorite performers alive and the winner of a record-breaking five Vegan's Choice Awards. Say hello to the one, the only, Pink! Yay! How are you, Pink? Oh my Oh my God! Oh my God! Thank you so much for being here. This is crazy. What was that noise, actually? Is everything okay? Over there? I, I don't know. Steve, what was that noise? I'm good. Okay, Steve's good. the one who's supposed to make sure I don't die today. <laughs> oh, not that anyone would know. I'm on fuse. Anyway, I'm so happy to be here with you, Pink. Everyone who watches my show knows I'm, I'm a huge fan. Thank, thank you for being you. here. I love your show. Oh, thank you. That's amazing. <laughs> and I'm not just saying I love you because you're here. If you were Christina Aguilera, I'd swing over there, fart on your head, and cut the wires. <laughs> we've never gone inside on Billy on the Street before, let alone in the air. And we've never shot outside of New York. But today, we are on a soundstage here in LA where Pink is rehearsing her new world tour, which is going to be amazing. When does Hopefully. it start? It starts next month, I think. I'm so excited. If you've never seen Pink, you've got to see her live. Seriously, one of the best performers in the Aww. world. It's true! Um, everyone saw you that time on the Grammys. You were dangling in the air. That's the only time they saw me. No! Oh, no, no, no. I saw you. I've, I've seen you a lot. And anyone who has seen you knows that something you're known for is you do these crazy aerial stunts yes. in the air. There's lots of flying and, and you're bungee jumping. It's kind of like Cirque du Soleil without all those sad, flexible Chinese girls who the government threatens to shoot if they can't bend themselves into a pretzel. So tell me, this is a serious question, because okay. those, those, those stunts are so impressive. Is that something you always knew how to do, or is that something you learned along the way to infuriate Kelly Clarkson? <laughs> Aww, I, I love Kelly. Uh, of course, she has a great voice, but no, really, how did you learn to do I was this a crazy gymnast, stuff? I was a gymnast for eight years. Wow. When? Uh, from four to 12. But you have breasts. That's a miracle. Uh, not really. No, they're good. I see them. I see them. <laughs> Only for maybe the next couple of months. <laughs> and they'll be gone again. I read on Wikipedia you're in support of breastfeeding. Is that I true? Very much. Public, especially. Oh, you love public love breastfeeding. It. Love, love what it does to people. Wow, I love it. I wish I could swing <laughs> over there right now and suck on those titties, but I can't. Um, when I see you perform, 
uh, I say thank God for Pink. Aww. Because it's true, because for all the young girls and young boys out there, because you're the real deal. Thank you. You know, you sing live, you put on this kick, oh, hello, you put on this kick ass show. I wanna hug you. <laughs> I know we can't. Yeah. Look at this, this is tragic. It's like broke back mountain. <laughs> Um, the other thing you do besides being a huge pop star is you are a huge advocate for gay rights. But, I am. But no one wants to hear about that. So now it's time <laughs> to play one of my new favorite games called Pink, Meryl Streep, or Who Cares? As anyone who watches my show knows, I obsess about Pink, one of my favorite singers, and I obsess about Meryl F Streep, one of my favorite actresses. Me too. So you love her, right? I love her. That's good, because if you didn't, I would swing myself into the wall and kill myself. <laughs> okay, here's how this game is gonna work. Listen up, I'm listen ready. up. Are ready. you ready? Yes. Okay, we're gonna put time on the clock. I'm going to give you a fact, Pink. If you think the fact is about you, you say Pink. If you think the fact is about Meryl Streep, you say Meryl Streep. And if you don't think it's about either one, you say, who cares? Do you understand, Got Pink? It. I'm on. Okay, if you get enough right, you win a big prize. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, I hope you're ready, America. Here, dangling in the air, this is Pink Meryl Streep, or who cares? Put time on the clock, please. It's stressful. Here we go. Pink Meryl Streep, or who cares? Okay. And away we go. She won three Grammy Awards. Pink. Yes, correct, she won three Oscars. Meryl Streep? Yes, correct. Scientists have finally isolated the Higgs boson particle. Who cares? Yes, correct. Once did a song with Missy Elliott. Ah, uh, pink. Yes, correct. South Korea abruptly postponed signing a military treaty with Japan after I being- I have no idea! Oh, just listen up! There's only three <laughs> options, Jesus Christ! There's time, oh, Next up. one was forced to do awkward choreography in the movie Mamma Mia. Woo, Meryl Streep. Yes, correct, but she acquitted herself very nicely. <laughs> Star of the Devil Wears Prada. Meryl Streep. Yes, correct, her middle name is Beth! Ah, oh, pink. Yes, correct. You don't like your middle name? No. Oh. Me neither, but it's better than Marnie. <laughs> Idaho is bigger than all of New England. Who cares? Yes, correct. Jennifer Lawrence was born in Kentucky. Who cares? Yes, correct. Triumph at the Grammys singing Glitter in the Air. Ah, uh, pink. Yes, correct. Jennifer Lawrence's parents are named Gary and Karen. <laughs> Come on, pink. Who cares? What was that? Who cares? Yes, exactly. A few more. I finally saw Argo. Who cares? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Final one. Her mother is a nurse. Me! Yes, Pink! Did she win it? Yes, you win! You win, Pink! You win, Pink Barrel Streeper! Who cares? Magic machine! Oh my god, and there's your vagina. Here's my Jewish testicles. Let's see what your prize is. Oh, it's paper towels! Yes, bring them up! Bring them up! There are your paper towels, Pink! You know what, for a new mom, that's actually pretty great. You know what, you see, I like to give my guests prizes that have a little bit of utility. You understand? Thank you. You're so welcome. My Pink, cheeks hurt. congratulations. <laughs> I, I, I really love you. I'm sweating my ass off. <laughs> yeah, it's all are. worth it. Everyone check out Pink's new album, The Truth About Love. You know what song I love on that, that duet with the lead singer of Fun? Ah, What's his name? Uh, Nate. Oh, I thought it was Tracy Chapman. Okay, well, <laughs> check it out anyway, and you gotta check out Pink's world tour. I'm gonna be there like seven times, and it's gonna make her feel weird. <laughs> Pink, thanks for being here on Billy on the Street. Oh, yes, there we go! Pink! Pink! We'll be right back. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Billy, and it's time to play my new favorite game, The Price Just Feels So Right. I'm gonna go up to people on the street with a typical household item. If they can guess the price of it correctly within a dollar, they get to keep it. If they don't, I will destroy the item on sight. Let's go! Miss, miss, how much is this cookie jar? If you guess right, you get to keep it. Take a guess, you guess within a dollar, what? Ten? Yes, ten dollars, take it! It's yours, take it! Take it, yes, here we go! Miss, miss, how much is this Sunbeam salad spinner? If you guess correctly within a dollar, you get to keep it. Take a guess. Uh, fifteen dollars. Yes, correct, correct. Take it, correct. Let's go, sir. Sir, how much is this vase in a store? If you get it right within a dollar, you can keep it. Take a guess. Mm, ten dollars. No, not ten dollars. No. <laughs> Miss, how much is this water pitcher in a store? If you guess right within a dollar, you can keep it. I don't know. Take a guess. Six dollars. Six dollars. No, you moron. Let's go, sir. Sir, how much is this set of plates? If you get it right within a dollar, you keep them. Um. What is it? Dollars? Huh? Five dollars? No, not five! Twenty! Oh, I hate you! Miss, how much do you think this keyboard is? If you guess right within a dollar, you get to keep it. Uh, eighty dollar? Huh? Eighty? Eighty? No, it's thirteen ninety-nine! <laughs> Bitch! Miss, how much is the ceramic water pitcher? If you're right, you get to keep it. Um, ninety dollars? Ninety dollars? No, it's twelve ninety-nine! <laughs> Damn it! Sir, sir, how much is this broom? If you guess correctly, you get to keep it within a dollar. How much is it? 250. No, not 250, it's 12 dollars! 
Think about what you did! Think about what you did! Let's go! Sir, sir, how much is this mug in a store? If you get it right within a dollar, you win it. How much is this mug? 99 cents. No, 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 it's 3.99! Let's go! Oh my gosh. What's going on with him? From his underwear line to his co-hosting duties on Extra, Mario Lopez is considered to be the most successful person in the world. I am going to list a particular activity, and you have to tell me whether you would rather do that activity or hang out with Mario Lopez for an hour and talk about his career. Would you rather have one very oversized tit or spend an hour with Mario Lopez? <laughs> hang out with Mario Lopez. Incorrect. Would you rather have a cat inside you for 15 minutes or spend one full hour with Mario Lopez? <laughs> Yes, correct. Would you rather have to explain Honey Boo Boo to Penelope Cruz or hang out with Mario Lopez for an hour? I don't even know how to do that, so Mario Lopez. Incorrect. Would you rather tell Leah Michelle you think movies are a natural step for her or hang out with Mario Lopez for an hour? <laughs> tell Leah Michelle movies are a natural step for her. Absolutely. She's very talented. Billy on the street.